So our neighbor that's camping just down where we were last time was super cool and came over with his saw, helped us delimb that. So it was a nice and efficient process. It took way less time than we thought it was going. To. Now we're just gonna get all the wood over to camp and we'll be good to go. Now we get to process, <clears throat> oh. buddy. Now I am hot as could be. It's also supposed to be like a 16 degree day today. So not exactly cold temperatures out here during the day. Night it's supposed to dip down to about minus five. So not too, too crazy for the trip, but I am getting hot right now, especially with the beautiful weather we're having. Tents up, stoves built, gears in there. We have firewood. What do you want to do, food? Sure, yeah, let's do it. Make sure we get the old lantern hung up here. Oh, and that fancy new spot that I found. Beauty, she's up. We got more grilled cheese. I could just live off of these for a week. I might go to a t-shirt here soon. Yeah, it's getting hot. Man, there's nothing like grilled cheese out here. Let me get out of your way. I'm gonna enjoy this. This is fantastic, my boy. Thank you. You're welcome. No grilled cheese for you right now. I have uh, something special for you later, sir. My turn. It's good. So, lucky us, there is a nice big fire pit already established here. So we are gonna clear this out, get a nice fire going in here. We're gonna get all the wood processed and everything that we need. And uh, we're gonna be hanging here, doing all our cooking and all that kind of stuff, other than uh, what we do on Andy's stove in the back there. We need to clear this out, and we need to get processed some firewood. That works. Of course, got to put the beers in the good old Canadian cooler here. Give us some time to chill. Now I'm gonna throw all this wood in the tent that I bucked up for the stove, and uh, we'll be good to go.
All right, that should do me pretty well for a little while here. I don't plan on firing this bad boy up until it's probably dark out. So uh, that should be a half decent amount of wood for me to stay nice and warm uh, for uh, when I'm hanging out in the tent. I got the sleeping bag and everything here and it's not supposed to be too crazy cold. So probably won't run it all night, but it will be nice to be comfortable in a t-shirt and just uh, these pants when it's about minus five and just hanging out in here and the rest will appreciate the warmth. So uh, yeah, we won't be firing this bad boy up until a little bit later, but we're gonna be using it and I'm very excited to be giving it another go since last time was such a utter, not failure, but definitely wasn't a success. I'm gonna get back after it. If you guys don't have an ax or a saw or chainsaw or anything handy and you wanna be able to cut wood, they really snap it easily. As if you get to find two trees, close like this, side by side, and then you take a piece of wood, like so. You're gonna want the butt end of it towards you, and you're just gonna fire in there so it gets most of those limbs off. And then you're gonna wanna just place it about halfway in there, like that. You're gonna be pulling on this end like that. And when you do that, it snaps it like that. Now obviously thicker pieces get a little bit harder, but you snap it like that, it really, really helps. And you guys can probably see we had a big pile of big branches. In about 20 minutes, it's been reduced into this pile like this, thanks to just these two trees right here. Really handy, really effective, and you're not gonna be uh, making your arms go numb. Do that for 20 minutes, right? It's pretty awesome. You can see I was able to accumulate a pretty good pile here. All right, so we are gonna get this fire started up. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but on our last trip, oop, lost a little piece there, I cooked up a bunch of this resin soaked wood. So we're gonna use these wood chips and start us up a nice fire here. We're gonna use it as some of our natural tinder. And then I've also got the old Raleigh Outdoor Adventures classic. We got the cotton balls soaked in Vaseline. I'm gonna start off with a couple of these bad boys. Just gonna put them here for now. You don't need too much. Got them good and soaked up. Gonna fluff these up just beautifully and get them right in the center here and then i'm gonna stack up some of these wood chips right around it so we have something nice and flammable to catch and of course i've got a pile of tiny tinder just to get everything working together and make sure that i don't lose the fire itself there we are Sparked up. Beauty. And she's a burning away. I nice think about this cotton ball mixture and those little uh, things that I made on our last trip, the resin soaked wood chips, so they burn for a long time. So you have some good oopsie time just in case you uh, make a little bit of a mistake. Oh yeah, look at that. This stuff's gonna go up nice. This stuff is so dry. Oh yeah. Fire's already going pretty decently strong. Hopefully I don't smother it. Nice. Well, let's let that uh, pick up, catch, and we'll have a nice fire. So last time Andy and I were out here, we uh, spent a bunch of time and hacked down a, a giant tree, actually the tree we got all this wood from by hand. And uh, I haven't done all the tool maintenance I should have been doing, so uh, it's a good time to do that. I really have a whole heck of a lot going on at camp right now. So, here we are. Oh, man, we actually got out here a lot later than we thought we were going to. We uh, found a guy that was stuck in the uh, in the ditch on our way here, and so we helped pull him out, and then we got here. So we didn't get here until about nine in the morning. Our plan was to get here hopefully by 7.30 or 8 a.m., but it just didn't happen because we were helping out another guy. 
But that's the way it goes out here in the bush, especially when there's a lot of snow. You gotta help others out and hope that others are gonna help you when you're in that kind of situation. Okay, let's get this guy worked on here. Now for the uh, fine side. Wow, oh. that was short work. Beautiful. This is one of the, the best little sharpening stones I've ever had the pleasure of working with. It's quite a, it's quite nice. Has a coarse side and a fine side. And you just rub it in a circle on the, the edge and it cleans it up beautifully, sharpens it perfectly every single time. It is a wonderful little tool to have in my, in my bush kit. Yeah, it is 15 degrees and it is absolutely beautiful out. Rusty I know is enjoying it more than being in the ice, freezing cold. I think uh, I'm enjoying it a little bit too. We're coming out of that winter season, a little bit more spring kind of camping now, but I'm still gonna dip down to about minus five on us tonight. So uh, still in for a little bit of a cold snap, but nothing too, too crazy. But yeah, he's in a t-shirt. I'm about to be in a t-shirt. It's absolutely gorgeous today. We're very, very lucky. It is Miller time. Oh, nothing like a cold beer when you're camping. Thank goodness for the Canadian career. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Worked quite well. You want to play for a little while? I think we can play for a bit. Yeah? You want to do some, some fetch? Huh? Good boy. Rusty is good and tired. He is hanging out on his bed. Man, this is the calmest we have, I've ever seen him out in the bush. But he is chilling in the tent, hanging out on his bed. And we are out here just hanging out in this gorgeous weather. It is plus 15 degrees Celsius right now. I can't believe how nice it is. It is literally t-shirt weather for us up here in Canada because it gets so cold that uh, when it gets to this point, we are just excited to feel anything but the bone chillingness of the winter. So it's a perfect day for us, but Rusty's been playing a lot, so he's good and tired, so he has taken a rest in the tent.